What's up? I'm here back at my desktop computer. So recently Zombie Pudding got me a pro membership on Letterboxd. Thank you Zombie Pudding. I'm eternally grateful. One of the benefits of having Letterboxd Pro is that you can see stats that weren't available to you with an unpaid membership. So Jeanette on here suggested that I go over my stats and make it a video. So that's that's what's happening right now. Here's my profile. I freaking love Letterboxd. I think it is so cool. I know a lot of you guys follow me, but if you follow me on Letterboxd, I will follow you back. So feel free. This is a little tour of my homepage. We have my four favorite movies. It's hard to only pick four, but Gummo, which I talk about sometimes. 13, which I never talk about on here, but I love teen movies and coming of age movies, teens, uh, wayward teens, you know, stuff like that. I love Valerie and her week of wonders, which I never talk about either, but I love it. And then the strange vice of Mrs. Ward. Cause I had to put a Jollo on there. So what was my number one Jollo? And so I review every first time watch just, just FYI. Anyway, you want to see my stats. So this is this is what we'll look at right now. So we can look at my life in film or we can look at like look at per year. Well, let's go ahead and go with my life in film. I just started tracking my litter box like my movies in May of 2021. So I'm only a little over a year in. So it shows that I have logged 478 films. Now that's that is also I've added movies to my list of like movies that I've seen ever. 766 hours, I don't really like to see that because I think of how much time I have spent sitting on my butt watching movies, but okay. 373 directors in 33 countries. Top films, okay, so I haven't done this, but I can tag my favorite films with these like hashtags and then they will appear here on my stats. I forgot to do that before I made this video. Now this is one that I think is really interesting. It's how many films I have seen by release year. So as you can see right here, which is the most interesting part, is that the year 1972 is my most watched <laughs> year in terms of movies, which I'm very proud of, you know, because those early, the early 70s are right there are my sweet spot. So I'm glad that my stats actually reflect that. So I've seen 28 films released in 1972. And then the close second is 71. I've seen 23 films. I think this is really cool. My earliest film, when, what did I watch? What is this? Oh, Take Care of My Little Girl. This is the earliest film I've logged here. This was a sorority movie because I went on this kick where I just, I wanted to find every sorority movie ever. And I wanted to watch an early one. You know, they have sorority movies from like the 30s. All right, so that's the earliest movie I've seen. Well, it's 1958, that was Dracula. 1961, what was that? Ah, The Parent Trap. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back on track here. I like looking at by release year. I think that's very cool. And I've seen seven films that came out in 2022, which is awesome. So as you can see, I try to stay pretty well balanced, except that I freaking love the early 70s. And that was like the golden age of Jalo, and Jalo is my current favorite genre. So let me click on ratings and see what that looks like. Okay, okay. Wow, I pretty much give everything three stars. Rating movies is, it's kind of hard for me. So, 1972, my average rating is 3.21. I Yeah, I'm pretty balanced with the ratings. Let's move on down. The highest rated decades, this is surprising to me that I don't, I mean, the 70s aren't on here, but you know, my rating system is, it's not very consistent. 
And, you know, I kind of ranked things objectively, like it was good for what it was. You know what I'm saying? That apparently the 2010s are my highest rated decade, which is weird. None of these things I'm looking at were really stand out. Except Ganjam, We Are Still Here, Dark Skies, Pure, The Witch. And then we got the 1980s as my second highest rated decade. Uh, look at all these bangers right here in the 80s though. Seriously, almost, I mean, all of these I'm looking at right now, almost all of them are just standout movies. And then we have the 90s, which is crazy. But we got Serial Mom, Scream, Demonia. Apparently, I love the 90s too. So I can feature here in my stats, I can feature up to 10 of my lists by tagging them with all stats. I don't even have 10 lists, but I do have some pretty cool lists. I'll show them to you later. Next in stats, uh, you can view genres, countries, and languages. So I've seen 327 horror films. I mean, I've seen more, but I've logged or clicked on 327 horror movies, 273 from the USA and 348 in English. So horror and thriller, mis this, these are my top genres. Horror, thriller, mystery, drama, crime, which is just the side effect of watching Jollo and Jollo adjacent <laughs> movies. And then a little bit of comedy, a little bit of fantasy. What kind of fantasy do I watch? Sci-fi, TV movies, that's what's up. In action movies, oh, it's a side effect of having a husband who picks the movies sometimes. What fantasy movies? Oh, okay. So this is kind of what they, what some movies get tagged as fantasy. Fair enough. Countries, USA, Italy, Canada. I love Canadian stuff. UK, Spain, Germany, France, Japan. I've seen nine Japanese films. Good job. Australia and South Korea. I do, I want to make my way over to Asia at some point, but Italy keeps pulling me back in. And here are my languages. English, Italian, Spanish, French, German, Japanese, Portuguese, Latin. Okay, so these are movies that contain some Latin in them. So they've been tagged as being in the Latin language, which is weird. But whatever. All right. Genres, countries, and languages. Pretty cool. And then this bar is list progress, which I don't care. I don't care what the letterbox top 250 are. And then we have this section called collections, like Gates of Hell trilogy. What's up, Jeepers Creepers? Y'all, did y'all watch the trailer for Jeepers Creepers 4? It looked so bad. Zach and I watched it, and when it was over, we just didn't speak. We just didn't say anything, and we just continued doing whatever we were doing. Like, it didn't even warrant a discussion. It just looked so disappointingly bad, but I don't know if you saw Jeepers Creepers 3, aka Jeepers Threepers, which is what we call it. Um, it was also so shitty, and I always like to say, we should recommend it to people that we hate, and it could become a very useful weapon. Nightmare on Elm Street collection, Scream collection. I've seen more. I don't know why Halloween isn't on there or um, Child's Play, stuff like that. But anyway, let's continue. Most watched. Of course, this isn't reflective of like my whole entire life or anything like that. But in the last year and a half or so, these are my most watched. Now, I have come back to some of these movies for reviewing purposes or for screenshotting purposes, but since I didn't watch them with full attention, I don't, I didn't log them as having seen it that many. Like, I've seen Death Walks at Midnight more than twice at this point. So, Forbidden Photos of a Lady of Suspicion, I've seen five times as my most watched movie on Letterboxd, and it's about time I revisit it. Fatal Frames clocks in at number two. Ugh. And then Serial Mom, Death Walks at Midnight, Seven Bloodstained or or Organs? Seven Bloodstained Organs? What? I'm caffeinated. Um, I don't know why I watched that twice. I just felt like it. Enigma, I know I've seen more than twice. I think <laughs> I just 
just didn't tag the rewatches enough. Now, my most watched stars. I'm a little baffled. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> Who's Carla Man Mancini? Carla Mancini. She's apparently my most watched actor. And I just don't recognize, I don't recognize that face. Let's see what movies she was in. I mean, she's been in all these jolly, but I guess she wasn't a main character in all of these. So I just don't know what to say about her. Then we have Fulvio Mingopsi. I don't know who you are either, bro. Who's Tom Falehi? Fale. Watch Katie Google various actors. Bro. But then we have Robert England, we have Edwige Fennec, uh, Luciano Pigozzi, I know who he is. George Hilton, know who he is. Oh yeah, this guy right here, Giacomo. Yeah, he he appears in a lot. Dagmar, John Saxon, Farley Granger. Oh, and this guy, Adolfo. Yeah, he was in a lot of stuff too. Carol Baker, Daria Nicolodi, Ida Ga Galli. Yevez Navarro. Oh, this dude too, Silvana Tranquilli. What a nice name. And Barbara, my homegirl. Now, let's go back up and click. So that was most watched, but let's see highest rated. Barbara Granton is one of my highest rated actors. Yevez Navarro, Lucio Fulci, just because he appears in some of his movies, you know. Aw, Claudio. I didn't even think I've seen him in that many movies. And then Edwige. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Honestly, oh, Anita right here. Honestly, a lot of these people, like, must be, like, supporting actors. And that's why I, they don't all, like, ring a bell with me. Oh, I know that girl. She was in, um, she's been in a few things, like, So Sweet, So Dead. My most watched directors. I'm pretty proud. Fulci, Lindsay, Argento, Daddy Baba, Martino, Wes Craven, Deodato, James Wan, Baby Baba, Cronenberg, Stuart Gordon. So that's what you look like, huh? Okay, now let's check out highest rated directors. Wes Craven, Luciano. What did he do? Oh. Got it. Not too bad. So then we have like crew and studios. We'll skip over that. No offense to crew and studios. And then we have the map. Oh shoot. I guess these are, okay. So if you hover over it, you can see like, I've watched four Australian films, one Chinese film. Cool, that's cool. Let's find Italy. 148 Italian films. That's awesome. I'm like, ooh, how many Alaskan films have I watched? Okay. So those are my Letterboxd Pro stats, which is pretty cool. Um, and like I said, instead of like overall, you can just look like at year to date, which is pretty cool as well. So I watched an average of 3.9 movies per week. Oh, and they have these cute little milestones, like the last thing I've watched, the first thing I watched this year, what, I, what I've watched most this year. Okay, so if you do, instead of life, if you choose the year, you get a few different things to look at. New watches versus rewatches. The stars are different. Look how much I've watched with Jean-Louis Trin Trintignant. So that's what Jean Roland looks like. I have never looked at him. Your most liked review, Messiah of Evil got 12 likes. Most obscure is this Jenny Garth Lifetime movie? Uh, that's funny. Most popular movie I watched is Baby Driver. The lowest rated movie I watched is Her Deadly Sugar Daddy. And the highest rated movie I've watched this year 
is the thing. And this is nice. I always like a, bit, a nice overall look showing all the images like that. So I want to show you the list that I've got going in case you want to check them out. So I do have my favorite Jolly here and they're ranked. All right. I have a video that I'll release later where I ranked them all. Uh, Jolly I've seen so far. And then the other Italian stuff I've watched that is not Jollo. Uh, Hammer Films. I got two down. I'm trying to accumulate a list of my favorite 80s slashers. But it's kind of slow going because I'm not really focusing on slashers right now. And then I have this other list called Girls Only. So anything that has to do with like sororities, boarding schools, clubs, sleepovers, anything that's like all girls, no boys allowed kind of vibes. I love that. Oh, and then the least favorite Jolly I have not been maintaining. So there's my list. And that was a little tour of my current Letterboxd stats. That was pretty fun. Maybe every year at the end of the year, I can do a yearly review or something. So yeah, let me know if you liked this. I kind of liked making it. And thanks again to those who made this possible. And I guess that's all I have to say. So, ciao for now.